What is going on guys? Welcome back to another how to tutorial and today I'm going to be showing you how to make this really cool shower that actually drips water and you can turn it on and off. So guys stay tuned and I'm going to show you how you can make it. Right guys to build this really cool shower you're going to need all the blocks that you can see right in front of me. We are going to need armor stands, iron leggings and iron boots, quartz stairs, quartz slabs, chisel quartz blocks, buttons, iron trap doors, black stained glass, iron bars, redstone blocks, a custom shower head, I will show you how to get an alternative if you cannot get custom heads, dispensers, redstone, redstone torches, pistons and two water buckets. Now once you have all these blocks guys you need to find a place where you want to build your shower. So the first thing we need to do guys is punch out a hole in the wall that we have right here. Now this hole is going to be three by five so we're going to do three wide just like that and then we're going to go five up so that's number one there so we're gonna go four more so one two three four and then we're gonna punch out this whole hole right here now this is going to be the size of our shower now the next thing we need to do is get our chiseled quartz blocks and we need to punch out some blocks to the left so we're gonna do one two three right there and replace that with chiseled quartz we're gonna do that on this side as well one two three replace that once again and then we're gonna join up the back as well with a three area like that now what we're gonna do is just punch out all the grass that we have in there like this now we're gonna to get our quartz stairs and we're going to place some stairs right here like that and then we're going to place some half slabs just filling up the floor area leaving a one block gap right there punching it out and then putting a half slab down like that then we're going to get our iron trap door place it on top of that half slab now this is the drain to our shower so we have something that looks like this so this is kind of like the floor area to our shower where you'll stand in so what we need to do now is build up these walls now these walls will go up to this level right here so let me just show you grab your chisel quartz blocks and just build it up to there so that again that is five high so you need to build up all of these walls all around to five high Once you have built all the walls up to five high, the last thing we need to do is just fill up the ceiling just like this. So we have a nice enclosed shower just like that. So as you can see, guys, we have our shower shape and size right there. So what we're going to do, we're going to add a door onto the shower now and we're going to get our black stained glass. So we're just going to put it on the left hand side. We're going to do two rows of our black stained glass, but we're going to leave one block open from the bottom right here and that's where we're going to put our iron bar and that's going to be at a handle to our sliding door on our shower so what we're going to grab now is our button and we're just going to put our button there this is going to be the button to turn on and off the shower so next what we need to do guys is grab our custom shower head now to do that we need to grab ourselves a command block the command to get a command block will be in the description once you have done that you need to paste this command inside of your command block again this command will also be in the description once you have copied and pasted it press done press the button and that will give you a custom shower head now to put this in our shower what we need to do is place down any block that is one block above the button and then place your shower head on top of that and then destroy that block and then we have our shower head in our shower but we need to punch out a hole above it right there and now we need to place our armor stand on top of the shower head so it drops down perfectly like that so next what we need to do guys is get on the outside of the shower and start working on that area so just punch a hole in your wall and just fly above on the outside like this so what we're going to do now is just grab our chisel quartz blocks and just flatten off this area right here so we've got a nice flat area to work with then we're going to grab our iron leggings and our iron boots and we're going to put them on top of our armor stand nice and easy just right click like that and now we're going to grab our chisel quartz and place it one block above the armor stand because we're going to push this down on top of the armor stand to make a nice flat ceiling inside of the shower so just grab your pistons and your redstone block make it face down on top of it and push it down on top of the armor stand and it will give you a really nice looking ceiling so let me go inside and show you it and you won't be able to see any of the armor stand can you see that there guys we have a really nice looking shower with the iron boots and leggings and you can't see any of it above so now what we need to do guys is make this shower have the water droplets like i showed you at the beginning of the video now to do that we're going to need to go at the back once again and we're going to need to go to the top now we need to put three blocks on the left three blocks on the right and three blocks on the back right here then we need 
need to grab our dispensers and with our dispensers we're going to put one on the left right there and one on the right and then inside of these dispensers we are going to put a water bucket now this is going to cause our water to fall out on top of here and cause the droplets down below but we don't want it to push the armor stand so to stop that from happening what we're going to do is put a piston right there then put a half slab right there and then power this piston so it pushes the half slab on top of the armor stand the reason we need to do that is so the water doesn't push around the armor stand so now what we need to do is power this function right here now we need to work out where the button is now the button is in the middle block one block up from the back so to now what we need to do is grab our redstone torches and put that on the same button block right there now we can fill that gap right up then place a block above the redstone torch place a redstone torch on top of that place a block above that once again then another redstone torch and then place a block like this in a cross formation like that with a redstone torch in the middle and then place two pieces of redstone dust like that and as you can see it activates the dispensers and the water goes out on top now if we go in here we can see we have the water dropping so it's actually like we're having a shower so if we want to turn it off press the button and it will turn off the shower like that so we somewhat have a nice functioning shower now if you cannot get custom heads guys you can use an alternative you can use an iron trap door with an iron bar and use the same function that we used before and the water will still drop on top making the droplets look like it has a working shower also what you can do guys is make this shower a lot smaller these ones over here are five high this one's only four high and two deep but it still works the same way press the button and the water will come out of the roof dripping down like you're actually having a shower i also wanted to show you guys what the shower design will look like in an actual bathroom as you can see here guys i have put together a nice little bathroom and at the back over here we have the shower design now i think it looks absolutely great you can even put banners next to it to look like towels when you get out of the shower but there we go guys a nice functional working shower that you can use in all of your builds but guys if you want to come on my minecraft server the ip will be at the top of the screen and in the description it is mc.chaoscraft net i'm pretty much on there every day so if you want to come and say hello that is the best place to do it but guys thank you so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you again in another how to tutorial the black carpet so just place the black carpet in the middle don't place it on the anvil place it on the glass place it on top of that one right there and go all the way like that so there we go guys we did a racing stripe on our monster truck so as you can see guys the monster truck is starting to look really really good but we need to add some final finishing touches to it so what